Hi, this is Chris Pearson with Thurdera, and I'm going to take you through the solution that we uh, built for Ingena. Uh, this is a TSM OMT, Telecommunications Service Management and Order Management for Telecommunications uh, Service Now Implementation. And Ingena brought with it a, some unique requirements and, and one that does not come normally with the TSM and OMT product line, and it, that's this this use case of uh, the concept of a this persona of a reseller or a partner entity. And so, in Jenna's business model, their primary business model is they have resellers or partners that sell in Jenna solutions, products, and services to end customers. And so, the people that are going to be submitting those orders uh, and doing the order enrichment in the Ingena ServiceNow instance are going to be those reseller and partner users. These are not Ingena employees and, and therefore we had to come up with uh, a way for, for them to continue to modify orders that have already been submitted uh, with some custom ACLs. We, we extended the CSM uh, partner security framework over to the OMT tables. Uh, as well as some of the CI and inventory tables and, and all the different tables involved in this entire process from order fulfillment and submittal all the way through assurance layers on cases as well as incidents. And, and in order to allow those resellers to have a, an intuitive and friendly uh, interface in order to process those orders and enrich the data after it's been submitted into ServiceNow, uh, this portal that we're looking at here was was built for that purpose. And so I'm going to take you through this portal, spend a little bit of time um, on that. And and what we're looking at here is a, a reseller who has logged in. And these are all the ongoing projects or, or orders that are in flight for any of the customers and locations that that he or she supports. And so right here you can you get a little bit of a dash card or a little card view here but I can select and kinda dial in and find perhaps one of these um, to go look at maybe Funko Germany Network here and you can see that page reloads and now we're looking at just the orders for this one uh, end user uh, end enterprise account or end account customer and, and in each one of these orders, we can go a little bit deeper and, and we can have a couple of things. The, the reseller would maybe be able to add some planning information and, and dates and things like that, contacts and dates to this order. But uh, I want to come in and take a look at what we call the network designer uh, for this order. This one is uh, currently in progress. It looks like it's in Texas. And we've got a couple of options here, the quick setup mode and expert setup. And, and that's one of Ingena's big selling points is this concept of a quick setup uh, mode. And, and really what that means is we've defined for an SD-WAN product, um, you can see all the different pieces of information that, that might go into um, setting up an SD-WAN across the globe on a multi-site, multi-location capability. There's lots and lots of information and data that might be necessary to gather by that reseller and that network design technician. Um, but Ingena has come out with uh, default values for a lot of these options and a lot of these characteristics. And so if I choose to toggle back and forth between quick start mode and and uh, the, the detailed view of this thing, um, it makes things a little bit simpler. Uh, you can see that if I go to quick start, it hides a lot of the stuff that uh, that doesn't have a value yet, right? It gives me everything that I still need information for. That's what the red asterisks are here. But, uh, and it still shows me a few pieces of information that are critical. Um, but other than that, it, it hides and gets rid of um, a lot of the content here to make their lives easier for resellers. So if I was just going to quickly try to stand up a particular SD-WAN at a location and I was okay with the default values for a lot of these options, uh, I could give a look at a, a, a truncated view of that order and only focus on the things that I need to uh, fill in, which are just a handful of items now in quick mode. So very slick, very handy for resellers, provides a lot of, of value add for them there to get orders in quickly and, and process quickly. 
Um, the other thing that's that's very interesting here is this call out for uh, for how we display a particular order. This tree view of a customer order with the order line items and product orders and service orders and characteristics beneath it. Um, we worked on quite a bit and we went through multiple iterations and this tree view here, expandable, collapsible uh, tree view is, is something that we're quite proud of where we can go into any branch of this and you'll see the characteristics for that particular uh, service or product that uh, is represented here but in the back end would be uh, product orders, service orders, and order line item records. So it's very cool. Once, uh, once they go through, you can see kind of a progress line on the top here. Once they get all this information in, in red um, that it's required uh, put in, they can go ahead and hit submit and progress that order through and, uh, and get to completion. And then once it's active, um, then we start assuring it. And so we can take a look at um, a dashboard here for open cases, any CSM cases that have been opened for... Um, for the person, my active cases would be things that this person would be open, uh, has opened up, uh, any resolved cases would show there. And then any cases that anyone else, any of my colleagues from my company might have opened up would be displayed here along with some nice charts and dashboards, um, up at the top as well. If one of these cases is for an issue that is critical or, or is deemed something that, uh, and Jenna's incident management team needs to take a look at their technical support team, then this case would turn into an incident. And uh, if an incident is in place for a, uh, for a CI where that CI impacts uh, one of these resellers accounts or companies that they sell to, they can come to the network dashboard to take a look at that. And you can see here that as a reseller, I'm, able to sell to a few different companies here as my end customers and uh, I get some nice little indications of of things that might be happening uh, across these different companies at different locations and uh, even a, a readout of the type of technology the type of uh, SD-WAN technology that's in place at those different locations. Um, the map is uh, fully expandable you can zoom in it uh, it automatically groups things together. If uh, if you're zoomed out too far, right? We got two locations somewhere here in the New York area. If we get closer, we can see, uh, okay, here there's one uh, here in New Jersey, one in uh, uh, well, that one's hot. <laughs> the uh, oh, Main Street here. Uh, I got the customer is uh, Funko International Germany, but the the location is correct there. Uh, that would be a local Germany or a local uh, New York address there. It's based on latitude and longitude. So whatever latitude and longitude is on that location record, that's where it, it puts the dot on the map. Down below here, um, um, depending on what uh, company you select, that also filters the available charts down below. Um, so we can, if we focus on one of these uh, or, or select one of those and click back and forth, you can see the charts down below. Um, actively uh, uh, adjust themselves so that we can filter on and off and take a look at just one company's incidents. Uh, and then we have some lists down below for the incidents as well as uh, historical SLA status across all the different customers. Um, so a nice little dashboard here to understand really what's what's going on, um, color-coded for things that are sev ones incidents, things like that. Um, last thing I'll take you through is uh, my organization page. So. Um, whatever company the reseller is uh, a member of or, or an employee of, in this case, Acme Reseller Company, it'll pl display information about that. Um, any of the colleagues that uh, this person has that it's also a member of, but then also a nice readout for all of their enterprise customers that they're able to sell to. And, and here we can see that we have the, the companies, Nexus, Funco, Funco Germany Network, things like that. And, and it lists out beneath them all of the different access designs and SD-WAN products at the different locations that have been sold and set up. And for each of these, they can go in and add site contacts, things like that, as they're working through these different orders to, uh, to, to note who, who might be there to open the door when products arrive and are shipped there, things like that. All sorts of different contact information um, would be displayed here and can be set up by those resellers. And so that's it. That's uh, 
that's a demo here of what we did for Ingena. We solved a lot of problems, but this one being a, a big one was that concept of a reseller and, and extending the ACLs and extending the platform, building an entire custom UI uh, around the OMT uh, order tables, the customer orders, uh, tasks and things like that and characteristics so that they can have a nice clean fresh UI easy to, to, to use and uh, and submit their order all the way through and then assure it and uh, place uh, create cases on the back end and, and manage those cases from the two dashboards thank you for listening